Hi, my name is Ritu and welcome back in part 2 of my kitchen cabinets organization video. Um, this cabinet, I keep all my um, food items here because I have pantry over there. So that's my laundry and pantry. So it's kind of, I'm not going to grab every single stuff there it's not that far but it does make sense if i keep in this cabinet so i have all my rice and pasta and lentils over here on top shelf uh i have rice flour some uh, i all i make Indian cooking many times. So I have lots of Indian stuff in this cabinet. I have this fallen seeds here, coriander seeds, sesame seeds, and these and that box, they are empty for now. In here, I have corn flour, gluten-free pasta, 16 beans, and some Indian stuff here. coconut, corn, beans. In this shelf, I have garam masala. This is made by my mom. Uh, jaggery, all uh, black beans, chickpeas, brown sugar, peanuts, kidney beans, and a lot of Indian um, dry lentils, quinoa, these are Indian stuff. Uh, this is like chickpea flour. In this bottom shelf, I have gluten-free flour, rice. Uh, I use this for my Indian cooking. All-purpose flour, puff rice, sugar. And this is, uh, again, Indian stuff. I have and I have all boxes uh, these are all our Tupperware brand so these all chalkboards from Michaels and these all uh, I have my label maker so I'm I printed out uh, on my label maker in this drawer we have all our tea and sugar just all tea bags here and for my keurigs sometimes um i use cake house but most of the times uh, i use this and this is reusable and we can just wash it and use it i have two more in my saying for washing right now so i have some more tea here this is my favorite tea from trader joe's um this is peppermint herbal tea i like this one too i have sugar here and the swiss miss milk chocolate for my younger daughter Moving on, this cabinet, I have my tea and coffee products here. I keep tea here. Uh, this is my candy cane coffee. Um, my older daughter, she likes instant Nescafe in her milk in the morning, so that's for her. On the back, I have some more coffee, coffee. So probably you know we love coffee. <laughs> but sometimes I make my Indian tea, so I have in here.
in this cabinet I have all my spices so I have all my Indian spices here whenever I make curry I uh, need these spices so uh, I have just my gas stove over here and it's here so it's easy to grab anything I need. So I have bay leaves, black pepper, cinnamon sticks, cloves, cardamom seeds and things like that. In this shelf I have coriander powder, cumin powder, cumin seeds, mustard seeds, chili powder, turmeric powder and things like that I have here. So this is basically my spice cabinet. My top shelf was empty so and I need something. Um, I, I was looking some space to keep my coffee makers here. So I have a couple of coffee makers and one empty flask. In this cabinet, I have all my measuring spoons here. And this shelf is on my left side of uh, my gas stop. Uh, and I have my olive oil, regular oil, like whatever, vegetable or canola oil, uh, onion powder, garlic powder, salt and paper, Himalayan pink salt, and uh, things like I really uh, use it on a regular basis and in here I have my cooking spray cinnamon powder ketchup um, soy sauce and in here I have my all spices so I have uh, in other cabinet my other spices but here I'm keeping like I do not need to climb <laughs> on my ladder every single time so this is kind of handy all turmeric powder and chili powder and things like that I have here and in this uh, to lazy Susan I keep things like I uh, use for my chicken uh, marination and salad dressings uh, every day so this is pretty handy for me and it's very functional and I bought both my lazy Susan from Bed Bath & Beyond in this shelf I have my sprout maker here uh, and on the top shelf I have my two kettles I use it sometimes but not often so whenever I need I can just um, grab it from here. In this cabinet I have all my Tupperware boxes. I keep all the lids here. Um, and these all are my Tupperware brand boxes here. Whenever uh, I use this for our lunch boxes sometimes and um, I use um, these big boxes whenever I have like uh, cut fruits and veggies things like that I use it in the fridge. I have some of my lunch boxes over there in this bin. Sorry the lighting is not great in here. And I keep all my glasses over there. I have some more Tupperware boxes here. Basically, I keep all lunch boxes and uh, bottles and my extra Tupperware in this cabinet. This is my last cabinet here. I keep all my chopping boards, 
uh, my griddle, panini press maker, um, that cheese grater, and I have just two or three trays here. And I keep my toaster in this bin, so whenever I need, I can just pull this bin out and use it. So this cabinet is very simple, not fancy at all, but it's very functional for us. And I keep my salt paper handy here. I use this every single day and I use every single day all these nuts. We all four of us take nuts most of the times, especially me and my hubby. We take nuts every day in at our work uh, as a snack. And for salad, I uh, want this uh, here. It's handy, very convenient for me. I use it every single day. So the salt paper and all these four nuts, I keep it here. In this cabinet back of my fridge, I just kept it empty because I cannot reach over there. If you are just wondering, I did not share under the sink cabinet, but that will be my another video. So stay tuned for that. So I hope you like my kitchen cabinet uh, video. If you do, please give me a, a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching guys and see you next time.